guys, how's it going? It's me, Megan, and I am back with another video. If you guys are new to my channel, I'm a full-time reseller on Poshmark and a few other platforms, but mostly Poshmark. And here on YouTube, I like to make reseller content. I'll do sold videos, I'll do unboxings like this, I'll do all that good stuff. So if that is something you guys are interested in, please make sure to like and subscribe, and that way you'll never miss one of my videos. So I'm already sweating. <laughs> it's getting warm in my office. It's the middle of the day and there's like no air circulation in here, but I wanna get this video filmed. This is the last of the bulk boxes I received. And yeah, it's taking up space in my office. And every time I finally get my office clean, I decide to open up another one of these boxes and it becomes a crazy mess. I've gone through and listed a lot of what I got in the other boxes. Um, at this point, it's probably like a month ago that I received these. I was on vacation for a little while. I'll put on the screen how much I ended up paying. I had about $100 in credit. Um, these cost $400. I got the 200 pounds. They all came from Georgia. 50 pounds a box. Um, I did have to pay taxes, but shipping was free. So I paid just over $300 for all these. And I've gotten some really great stuff, which has been amazing. I do plan on trying to take some stuff to buy, sell trade stores. I haven't done that yet. I'm waiting to have opened all of them before I do that. So I can get some like accurate numbers about how much I've sold um, from that stuff. So I could do it all at once. And yeah, um, like I said, I've listed a lot from the other boxes I received. I'm trying to just list the stuff that's in season and hold off on some of like the winter fall items. Um, just because I am still sourcing from the bins while I'm doing these boxes and it just makes more sense for me to list the seasonally appropriate stuff right now. Not that I don't pick up and sell stuff year round, like sweaters in the summer and t-shirts in the winter. And I haven't, in order to like get these videos out, I haven't been putting up my listings, but I imagine by the time you're seeing this, a lot of this stuff it's probably already listed. If it sells, I'll definitely have that sold listing up. Um, but this is a Gap 100% linen women's size medium button up. I will definitely get this listed and sell this. Linen is great for the season. Um, I probably aren't get, I'm not going to see any falls, falls, flaws <laughs> as I'm showing you guys. Um, but if there's like flaws to some of this stuff, obviously that will make me reconsider selling it. I'll try and save all the jackets for last, just because that's easier. Here is New Without Tag, Nanette by Nanette Lepore, which is, um, that's how you say it, right? Yeah, <laughs> which is a lower end line from Nanette Lepore, which I think her stuff is usually pretty expensive. I've seen this line at TJ Maxx and like Marshalls and stuff. It's a cute blouse. I'll look up comps. It is a size extra small. I like the sleeves. <laughs> um, we'll see. It's definitely more of a fall wintry item. But again, I'll look up comps and then I'll see. Even with her normal expensive line, I haven't had the best of luck selling her things. But I did get a pair of pretty cute trousers in the last box. So I'm not against selling it. Here is another expensive brand that doesn't have the best resale value, and this definitely looks like an older label. Joie, it is a size extra small, but it feels like it's silk. It's like a black blouse. It is pretty cute. I did recently, I think, pick this brand up for the first time at the bins because it was a cashmere sweater. And yeah, this is 100% silk. I'll try and sell it. I don't think it's going to get me too much, even if it does sell and it is an extra small, so not great. Um, but for 100% silk, I will try it out. Here is a new tag piece. If you've been watching these unboxings I've been doing, I've been getting a lot of new tag stuff. Not all of it is like newer. A lot of it's been from like the like mid 2000s, like 2013 and stuff, but some of it's been newer. This is a Gap ribbed Henley, size small. Really cute, basic, new with tags. Been getting a lot of Gap and Old Navy, and I'm not against selling Gap and Old Navy. Um, it just has to be a pretty cute piece, but this is new with tags, and it's from 2021, so I'll probably sell it. It's a great base layer, um, more of a fall piece, but I'll probably sell that. 
I have mentioned in a couple of my other unboxing videos of these boxes that I've gotten at the bulk box before, I think two or three, maybe four times. The first time I got 100 pounds wasn't great. And then two or three other times I just got the 50 pound boxes and they weren't great. I've always profited, but they've never been as good as these boxes have been. So I am very happy, but I wanna let you guys know that this is not usually the case. They're usually not great. <laughs> And if you watch a bunch of unboxings, you probably know that. This is just a dry fit, size extra small, cute little Nike workout tank top. I like this print a lot. This might be something I just try and sell at Plato's Closet since I do have a bag going to them from these bulk boxes. It's from 2012, so it is kind of old. And this style of tank top, I just don't think is the trendiest. I'll send it to them. If they don't take it, I might sell it myself, but we'll see. It's probably just gonna be like a $10 flip. Nothing too exciting. Here is another Gap piece designed and crafted that looks like a Y2K label. Got a similar label in my last box. This is an extra small, but this is pretty cute. It's a drop waist dress, which I think the one with the same Gap tag I got in my last box was also like a drop waist, but I decided not to sell that one. This one I might sell. I like this floral pattern and it's pretty cute. <laughs> I think they make nice stuff. Um, but like it being a Y2K dress might help it sell. Here are a pair of leggings. Out of my three boxes, this being my fourth, I've only gotten, I think one Lululemon piece, which in previous boxes I've gotten that haven't been so great, I've gotten way more, so. Maybe I'll get a couple pieces in this. This looks like it's from 2014, so definitely older. Nike, size extra small. Logo's a little worn out. Sorry if you can hear my husband. Maybe it's my cats, who knows? Everyone loves to make sound when I'm filming. Interesting pattern. I will throw these in the Plato's Closet bag. I actually like to sell Nike, but older pieces that are kind of basic, I just know it's not gonna get me very much. Is this a blouse? All right, so this is Rebecca Taylor. I'm not sure if I've sold this brand. I think this is a size 10. This feels like silk. I think it's a top, not a dress. <laughs> it's a pretty like light blue leopard print, I wanna say. Feels again, like silk. Yeah, it's 100% silk. I don't think I've sold this brand. I may have. I'm not sure though. Uh, seems like an older piece, but it is silk, and I think it is cute, and if it's like Y2K, all the better. Um, we'll see. I will probably list that. Here's another blouse, Banana Republic. Been getting a ton of Banana Republic. Extra, extra small petite, the Dylan shirt. I actually don't do too bad with double extra small, but double extra small petite. <laughs> I've never done well with petites. I might still list this because it is such a specific size that I imagine if somebody wears this size, they have a really hard time finding. And I feel like Banana Republic, Loft, like people that are petite like to shop these brands. It's from 2017, it's just polyester, but I might try and sell that because it does have a name. And again, it's a very specific size, but it might be a harder size to find for somebody who needs it. All right, an ASOS. Oh, cute. Jumpsuit. This is new with tags. Um, I like selling ASOS. I find it um, quite a bit at the bins. It doesn't always sell the fastest, but some of their stuff um, can sell pretty well. It's a size 2. No price, but it's this great neutral, like, wide leg, straight leg jumpsuit. Great color. Open back. Tie waist. Definitely going to list that. Oh gosh, okay. Um, I'm glad I spread these box like unboxings out because otherwise this just would have been way too much stuff for me to have in my office at once. This is a new tag, a halter top. <laughs> Black halter top with that. It is American Eagle, but this is definitely older American Eagle. It says American Eagle Outfitters in cursive. And I just know that's older. It's a size small, no price. I might sell this, but it is very simple. It, I might just throw this in the bag to take to Plato's Closet. Since it is new with tags, they might take it. I think I'll probably just do that with it because it doesn't really 
excite me. <laughs> Here's an Ann Taylor piece, new with tags. Again, been getting a lot of Ann Taylor. Ugh, there's like wear to this. That's so disappointing because this is actually really cute. So I'm going to donate this. There's just so much wear to it. I don't know if you can see. It's like runs all throughout, even though it's new with tags. It's a zero petite, which you know how I feel about petites. Originally 150, but it was on sale for $39.99. And it's just really ruined, which is so sad because I love dresses <laughs> with this kind of cut to the front. Like very cool and vintage. And this is the perfect pink barbie satin dress but i'm not gonna sell it and i don't think anyone will take it so i'm going to donate that and when i donate stuff to savers i get a 20 percent off coupon that i can spend on other things so that also makes it worth it what are you a gap a lot of gap in these boxes gap extra small this is cute i think it's a romper actually which is nice it's like a chambray romper it's like two separates but it's all attached in the back that's actually really nice i wonder if it's linen it sucks that it's such a small size extra small a lot of this stuff i think was on their website and it just didn't sell it's from 2017 and it's 55 percent linen so i'll definitely list this and hope for the best <laughs> Here are another pair of leggings. All right, these are Zella. I'm not against selling Zella. I don't find it that often. I would not sell Z by Zella because that's a, um, a lower end line. Zella sold at Nordstrom and these are cute. They're like a high rise full length legging. If they were cropped, I definitely would not bother listing them because I cannot sell any cropped leggings. They just don't sell for me. They're a size small. They're not going to get a lot, but if I saw these at the bins, I'd probably pick them up. Sometimes Zella can sell well for me. Not always, but sometimes. I sold one of their, like, scuba jackets for, I think, like, 50 bucks once, so that was great. Here is a Land's End shirt. It's a size 6. No iron sapima, probably cotton. Um, but I really love this print, this floral print. I don't sell too much Land's End stuff, but I'll probably sell this. Great for the season. It doesn't look great, and so I imagine it's not going to look great when I photograph it, like, from back here. But, like, up close, I think that print is really gorgeous. So far, nothing I'm, like, wowed by. <laughs> so hopefully this isn't the worst box out of all of them, because that would be sad. This is another Banana Republic piece, size small. I mean, I'm already getting a lot less new tag stuff. Very sheer camo, which sometimes sells well. No inner tag. I'm probably not gonna sell this. I'll try and take this to a buy sell trade store with my more like adulty clothing pieces. See if they want it. All right, here's a new tag Zara basic top. Comes with extra pearls. $35.99 says it was a size medium and it's kind of just like a delicate lacy is it inside out yes blouse um it's cute it looks like oh there are some pearls missing but to the back of the neck I actually might just take this to Playhouse closet and see if they want it it's not very cute on screen it's cuter in person I like this flower detail but um I'm just gonna see if they want that. <laughs> a lot less stuff I'm willing to sell in this box since I did get so much good stuff in my last boxes. All right, here's the best thing so far. <laughs> Diane von Furstenberg, size two blouse. I really thought this was gonna be another cheapy blouse, but really pretty like leopard print. Um, this feels like silk. Be my third all silk piece if that's the case. Yep, 100% silk. Did it have a size? Did I say two? Is that what it said? Yeah. Made in China. I don't know if that means anything better or worse. It looks like a newer tag. Not that I've sold a lot of Diane von Furstenberg, but that just kind of looks newer to me. Best thing in the box so far. I'm very happy about that. It's probably not going to get as much as maybe like, you know, one of her dresses would, but I'm not going to say no to Diane. Here's another pair of Zella leggings. These are a size small also. These have more like wear and they're more basic. I might just lot these two together. 
and maybe that will help um, the other ones sell. Or I might donate these just because they are so basic or maybe take them to Plato's Closet, we'll see. All right, another new attack piece. This is J. Crew Factory, but it is new with tags, originally $49.50. Size small. I'm not against J. Crew Factory, especially new with tags. I might end up taking the price off of that, but we'll see. I like it. It's a very basic olive green v neck sweater. 100% cotton. It is from 2017, but not bad. I think it's so funny. I've been getting so much new with tag, like older pieces. So, like stuff somebody never wore, but. I will take it, that's fine. This is pretty color. Be good, be a good brand. All right, J. Crew. This might also be silk. This is gorgeous. I love this floral print. So colorful. It is J. Crew size small, so at least not an extra small. <laughs> and just a really fun floral um, printed like peplum top. 100% silk. Wow, so much silk. That's great. 2018, so not too bad. Definitely gonna list this. That is absolutely adorable. I actually have been really liking selling J. Crew again. I feel like I kind of stopped picking it up for a while, but I'll always pick it up at the bins. And some of their stuff can sell for a lot of money, especially their like wool coats. Um, I would definitely pick those up and pay up for them, but their blazers, a lot of stuff you get good money for. This is an interesting dress. <laughs> I would consider this to be Y2K. <laughs> um, it's the brand Glam. I've never heard of that before. It's probably a boutique brand. It says it was originally 46 on sale for 25. We'll see. If this isn't worth much, I will throw this in the bag to Plato's Closet. They might want it. It is new with tags, which makes it nice. Hooray! Lululemon. Oh goodness, I was really not thinking that that was gonna happen. These are cropped and I was just complaining about cropped, but you know, they're high rise. You seem like they might be a newer style. Let's find the size dot and then we will know for sure. If you're new to selling Lululemon, their size dots are in their pockets. So this isn't one of the newer ones, but it does have some code around the outside, which will make it a ton easier to look up. It's pretty blurry but it is a size four. Definitely gonna sell these. I just, I will never say no to Lululemon. I can't, I cannot. All right, here's a dress. This feels kind of cheapy. Oh, it's intimately free people. I was not expecting that. Um, I haven't had the best of luck selling intimately free people, but I do pick it up when I sit at the bins because I always pick up free people at the bins. I was just saying in my last, I think my last, bins haul video that I should start just like collecting it all and sending it into Plato's closet um because I, I'm sure they'd probably take it but this is a really cute dress it's like a halter neck dress with this really pretty blue pattern and like this crochet detail up here and that's the back of it I don't know this might be a newer piece I'm not sure they don't date their stuff but um a lot of the times they'll have an OB number on their inner tag. Looks like this was sold at Urban Outfitters. Um, and it kind of makes it sometimes easy to look up styles, but the OB number doesn't always pick up a style, which is funny. All right, this seems like it might be an older shirt by J. Crew. I've never heard of this. It's the, it says it's the perfect shirt by J. Crew, made in Thailand, 73% cotton and 27% silk. Let me know if you've ever seen that label by them before. Definitely something I'm gonna look up. It's just a plain white top. Doesn't seem like there's any stains on it. A little wrinkled, kind of sheer. But it is a silk blend and it is J. Crew. It says it's from 2009. There is a style number. I've sold very old things by J. Crew in the past. That doesn't really deter me um, as long as it's in good condition. But I will look up the style code and we'll see. Hopefully that is like, has held some value, even though it's an older piece. You just can't get it anymore. New a tag, no boundaries t-shirt. Oh, this is like stuff I used to get in my other bulk boxes. I have sold no boundaries in the past. It is Walmart. And from these bulk boxes, I 
have sold it, but I really would only sell it if it's in a bigger size or something substantial. This is a medium and it's a t-shirt. Um, I could probably wear this <laughs> like under something, but I'm probably just going to donate it because I don't think anyone would take it. Is this another one? Yeah. So I could lot these together. They're both new with tags in the same size. Is this a kid's? These actually might be kids. I'm not sure. It says medium in parentheses seven nine. So these actually might be kids, which is not supposed to be in this box. I'm probably still gonna donate them. Even if I lot them together, it's just, it's not exciting to me. Here's another piece I'll probably donate. It is Gap Fit. It says breathe size small. This is huge for size small, like literally huge. I could wear this. Maybe I'll keep this. I'll probably keep this <laughs> and wear it to like work out in or sleep in or something. That seems pretty comfortable. This is cute. These are always those things I'll see at the bins and be like, be Johnny was, be Johnny was. And it's always like a no name thing, which is definitely what this is because it seems extremely cheap. It's cute, um, but it's kind of, it reminds me of Old Town San Diego if you've ever been there. It's very like um, Spanish, Mexican. Um, and they sell like little shirts like that. I'm just going to donate that. No size, no tag, no nothing. This is getting rather sad. Another no boundary shirt. Maybe I will lock those up, but mm, again, maybe not. Just not exciting. <laughs> All right. Hopefully that was the bad stuff and now we're gonna move on to the better stuff. I have never heard of this brand. Is this a jumpsuit? <laughs> oh, it's a jumpsuit. This is a black, very bouncy jumpsuit. It's Polly and Esther. Um, the other tag underneath it is completely worn off. I can't read any of that. Um, I'll look it up. I do like to sell jumpsuits even if it's not like a very expensive brand, but I'm not sure. Might be something that goes to Plato's Closet. Here's a pretty white blouse or seemingly a pretty white blouse. What are you? Haven't heard of this one. It might be cold shoulder. No, maybe not the trendiest, but it seems kind of like piratey, Victorian. It's cute. Pookie and Sebastian. Could be a boutique brand, could be something unknown and great. Let me know if you know. I will look it up. Pookie and Sebastian. There is another tag in here. Seems very cheap. 100% polyester. Might be a boutique brand, which is fine. Um, I do think you could sell on style alone, but if it's an actual good brand, that'd be great. I'm not going to sell this. <laughs> IZ Buyer. Maybe I'll look it up. I feel like I've seen that before, but I think it's maybe like a Kohl's brand. I could be completely wrong. It's a white sweater with like a uh, lace and a cutout in the back. Is this linen? If it's linen, there is no material tag. <laughs> Um, I'll put it in the maybe pile. I'll look it up, but I'm pretty sure that brand's not anything good. IZ Buyer. Sounds familiar. This is fun. Where do you? J. W. Anderson. It looks like it's a Uniqlo collab, which isn't bad. Um, there are a lot of Uniqlo collabs that I think are actually worth really good money. Um, Marimekko Uniqlo collab being one of them. I've sold that several times. But this is cool. Tie, sleeve, blouse. I'll probably sell this. Hopefully find a model photo or some more information about it. But it seems pretty unique. It's great. Oh, this is fun. This is a Betsy Johnson dress. It's like a baby doll style dress. This is so cute. <laughs> Look at that. Oh my God. I wish this was my size. This is like so adorable. It's like 70s vibes, I'd say. Um, size four, I'm not 100% sure if that's a newer or older tag. I don't think it's that old if it is. I don't think she dates her things. I one time found um, a vintage sweater by her. It said Alley Cat by Betsy Johnson. If you find that, no matter what it is, pick it up. Their dresses, like the Alley Cat by Betsy Johnson dresses, can go for hundreds of dollars. Mine was just a basic cardigan and it sold for like 80 or something. And I've been 
hunting for that brand again ever since. It does say made in the US, and this does seem like it could be an older tag. Hopefully I can Google image search this and find some more stuff out about it. Hopefully there's nothing wrong with it because that is my new favorite piece. I think that's just absolutely adorable. Even if it's not gonna get me the most, I think it's my new fave. <laughs> All right, this looks like an older Athleta piece. Um, I've never seen a, a label like that, so that's why I say it. Have you ever seen an Athleta label like that? Interesting. Usually they size their things, but I've never seen a tag like that. Or I mean, date their things. It's a size medium. Usually they also have a style code on it, so that's what makes me think it's older. I might sell this. I don't have the worst luck with Athleta. I think it's a cute color. It's a nice top. But if I don't sell it myself, I'll probably send it into Plato's Closet. Hmm. What are you? All right, a J. Crew blouse <laughs> with the frills on the front. J. Crew size large. Oh, that's great. Sleeveless, like an off white color. Let's see, just polyester and from 2019, so not too bad. I will sell this. I never usually find much J. Crew in bigger sizes. I do see a stain, but that looks like it could come out with just some like stain treatment. Ooh, okay. So this is Lily Pulitzer. Looks like oh, one pearl missing, but it's on the side. And unless you cut that string, I'm sure it wouldn't be noticeable, but it's like a sleepless blouse. Usually they're more colorful pieces are gonna get you more. I've had a few pieces that I've just been kind of sitting on from her, but I'm not upset about it. It's new with tags, but the tag's been cut. Again, one pearl missing. It is a size extra small. Bigger sizes are better, but I did sell a pair of their shorts in a double zero. And I've sold a blouse, I think that I got in a mystery box before for a decent amount of money. There's, oh, seems like there's actually an extra pearl in here. I could feel it. So that'd be an easy fix. I think I'd just let someone else do it if they want to buy it, but definitely gonna sell that. That's a great piece. Never heard of this brand. This is definitely vintage. It has a probably a Goodwill tag on it. Yeah, vintage size 16. There's a Union tag on it. Made in the US. Austin Hill. That's the Goodwill thing. <laughs> Haven't heard of it. It's a good size, pretty red color probably wool. It's like midi length pencil skirt. There is dirt there. So if this isn't worth much, I'll probably just donate it. I'm not seeing any other tags currently. Oh yeah, 100% wool. Dry clean only. Maybe. I'll look it up, but I probably won't list that until like Christmas time if I do list it. Another pencil skirt. This is J. Crew. Definitely older J. Crew and not fun J. Crew. 2011, size four. This is something I will probably send into a buy sell trade store, see if they want it. If not, just donate it. There is probably a million and a half black pencil skirts being sold, and that one's not very cute and outdated. Ooh. So I got a pair of new Tag Levi's in my last box. These are so cool. And a great size. So I don't know what's wrong with these. Again, they might just not have sold on their website. But these are really cool. They're a 30 by 30. They're called the Naughties Boot Cut. Naughties spelled like I've never seen it before. Size 30 is great. It's like a size 10, 8, 10, maybe 12. I'm not sure. Um, but they're boot cut with this like twist hem. These are absolutely awesome. The last pair I got was a white color, um, but I'm definitely not gonna say no to these. I don't know why they're in here, but I'm so happy. I love selling denim. They say they're from 2022. They even have like the fun retro pockets on the back. Yeah, I'm gonna list those probably today, honestly. That's very exciting. Here's another pair of denim. I love selling denim. These are Aero, which is Aeropostale. These actually might be a men's. Yeah, these are definitely a men's. They were originally $59.50. They're a skinny jean. Again, there's not supposed to be men's stuff in this box, but it happens. 29 by 30. I actually get my husband a, t 
a decent amount of stuff from this brand. It says $59.50, but it honestly probably sold on their website for like 10 bucks. They're not very high quality. I will see if Plato's Closet will take these. If they don't, I might sell them. I'm not against selling Aeropostale, Aeropostale, however you pronounce it. But if they'll take it off of me for like a couple of bucks, uh, I would be plenty happy with that. Here is a by Chico's 100% cotton size two soft tee. Do I want this? It's supposed to be a 2XL. These sleeves are kind of long. Um, I will take that to a buy sold trade store. Actually, I don't know what a two converts to. Is it two medium in Chico's? It might be. Here is another joie piece. This is the tag I'm more used to seeing. I think these are a linen pant. If these are linen, I will sell them. 100% linen. I will sell them. Again, I've never sold this brand. I know people say that they don't do well with this brand, but people like linen and these are cute. Seem rather comfortable. What size? Size four. Still got a lot of stuff in this box. I ate lunch before this, but I'm already really hungry. <laughs> All right, here is a Toby piece, which I don't know if Toby's around anymore, but they used to be like an online store. I remember I bought a dress from them when I was younger and I picked up a pretty cool cape romper thing from them at the bins recently that sold, but this is just like a older style oversized blouse. I'll see if Plato's Closet wants that, but I doubt it. <laughs> probably just end up getting donated. Here is another top. This is Lush. I don't like selling Lush. I've had never had good luck selling it. I think it's sold at like Nordstrom or Nordstrom Rack maybe. This is just like a faux wrap top, size small, oversized. We'll send it to Plato's Closet. Again, they probably won't want it and it will get donated, but that's fine. Here is a, I thought I was doing tags, but that's just the inner tag crumpling Zara piece. I like Zara. I pick it up at the bins all the time. <laughs> it's a really cute cropped collared white shirt. I like this a lot. Size small. Who's surprised? They don't date their stuff, but I look up this code next to the barcode, these numbers, and I can usually find a style photo or a style name very easily. Definitely sell that. this a dress? Oh, this might be a dress. So far I see two jackets in there, so dress, dress, dress. All right, I have sold this brand in the past. I think sometimes it's done well. I've definitely sold it on ThreadUp before and it's done well. And I used to send stuff into ThreadUp, but it's Velvet by Graham and Spencer. Again, I believe that's a Nordstrom brand. It's a pretty cute leopard print dress. It has the belt. Is it a wrap dress? Yeah, it's like a real wrap dress. It's snapped together right now. Um, I'll probably sell this. Probably won't sell until like the summer if it does sell, or the fall if it does sell. Just viscose, made in the US, size small. Probably sell that. I like selling dresses. Sweatshirt, new tags, threads for thought. Size small. It doesn't seem like a really high quality brand. It says responsibly made for every day. This feels absolutely terrible. <laughs> feels like a very cheap sweatshirt. I'll look it up, but if it's not worth anything, I'll probably try and sell that to Plato's Closet. I do not like the way it feels. Yay, American Eagle white shorts, next level stretch, newer label. And they usually date their stuff, especially the newer pieces. Hello, where is it? From 2020. New with tags. Originally $44.95. Oh, it's actually not shorts, it's a skirt. Oh, that's fine. I like to sell skirts. Cute white denim skirt. Definitely gonna list that. Again, probably will list that today. <laughs> what is this? Seventh. Avenue Design Studio, New York and Company, small petite. 
not gonna sell this. It was originally $42.95. Um, they are like a boot cut stretch pant, which isn't a terrible style to sell, but I'm not interested. <laughs> Pull on boot cut, yeah. I will see if Bicel Trader will take that. It's definitely not the season for it, so they might not. It might end up getting donated. Or maybe I'll send it back to Thread Up, but I don't know, we'll see. This is not new with tags, it just has a tag, probably from like a thrift store. Massimo, which is Target. I don't even know if they sell Massimo anymore. It's like a little bomber, like a lightweight bomber jacket. Very Y2K, I'd say. <laughs> not in like the fun trendy way, but in the I owned this back in the day way. I'll see if Plato's Closet wants it, taking that random tag off, but I doubt it. I'm just probably gonna get donated. <laughs> Another pair of pants, Celebrity Pink, very cheap, skinny, I'm not seeing a size. Size, oh, oh. gotta go faster, my phone's dying. Uh, 11 slash 30. I kept a Celebrity Pink faux leather vest from my last box, I want to say, or the box before. But these, I'm just going to donate. I'm not even going to try and take those anywhere because they are skinny and I doubt that anyone would take those. I see a LuLaRoe tag in there somewhere. Here is a Gap Thermal piece, 2XL, so a good size. Um, but I'm not going to sell it. It's definitely older. And it's very basic as far as gap goes. Let me get the LuLaRoe piece out. Is it this? Oh, this is not what I was expecting. What is this? This is cute. Just be nice. I was 100% not going to sell this, but I like it like a lot. I don't know how it's a size small. It's like a shirt dress. It's also very probably see-through. Never seen anything like this by LuLaRoe before. But I will sell this. Hudson, it's probably the name of the style. Esley, haven't heard of it. Looks like it could be a boutique key piece. Size small, rayon. It has that boho-y vibe to it. It's open on the side, so it's definitely like a beach cover-up. We could like tie it closed. Ooh. I'll look into it. Not bad. Cute style. Here is another skirt eight petite china 100 percent cotton no brand not gonna sell this gonna donate that it feels really bad <laughs> all right so my phone storage was full and now i have my phone plugged in so it doesn't die but i was just showing you guys these airy leggings i really love the colors um i don't pick up too much airy stuff but i'd probably pick these up at the bins um, I have good luck with it, but they're athletic wear. Unless it's like they're like a really trendy style by them. I'm not sure how it'll do, but we will see. Another new tag piece. This is a dress by Lush. Again, not my favorite brand, but it is new with tags. It seems kind of nautical. It was originally 56, looks like it was on sale for 37, then 25, then 14. <laughs> um, but I could take that tag off and, oh, it says by anthropology? No, I don't know where I thought I saw that, but just blush. I don't think I will sell this myself. I will probably take that size tag off this one and keep the other one on and bring it to Plato's Closet and see if they want it. I don't like it. <laughs> All right, here is an athletic sweatshirt, I think. Tech gear. It is a 2XL, which is great. I don't think I've had any luck selling tech gear. Is this a dress? Oh, this actually might be a dress. Hmm. I might sell this because of the size and the style. Is it a dress? I think it's a dress. I mean, it goes down to my knees. That'd be a very long sweatshirt. Um, but it seems like it might be somewhat sheer. I'll probably sell that. I don't think it'll sell for very much, but I'll probably sell that. Another pair of shorts, new with tag, STS Blue. 10 inch high rise Aubrey short. I wanna say this isn't like an expensive brand. There's no price, like a boutique brand. Oh, it was actually sold at Stitch Fix. That's cool, but I will 100% sell these. I pick up almost all denim shorts this time of year. 
They don't ever sell for too much, but they usually, you know, sell pretty quickly. There we go. Seeing like three jackets now. Here are, oh, these are so cute. A pair of Gap sweatpants. And this cute Barbie pink with the Gap spell out. These are very like 90s style to me, Y2K. Uh, extra small, originally $34.99. I will definitely sell these. They say they're from 2014, so very Y2K. <laughs> Take back the 90s part, but these are very Barbie core, which is very trendy. We'll sell those. Another pink, another new tags. Never heard of this. Seems like it's an Amazon brand. A Justani, because it says www.amazon.com slash shop slash A Justani. Feels like a really nice um, quality sweater. It's just viscose. It is that Barbie pink. Um, I'm not gonna sell it, but I'll see if Bicel Trade wants it. Another new tag from Marshalls. Cable and gauge. It's a 1X, which is good. Um, it says it was originally $60, which I doubt. <laughs> I will take off the Marshalls tag and leave that tag that says it was $60 and bring it to Bicel Trade because I don't like it. <laughs> just not cute. I like selling bigger sized things, but that's just kind of not cute. <laughs> it would not excite me to list it or to sit on it for however long it would take to sell. Here are a pair of mostly wool Banana Republic stretch trousers. Definitely by the tag, they seem older. They're cute though. They have no pockets or anything. They have the side closure. Let's see if they have a date. Size four, dry clean only. I think that's the only tag. Uh, <laughs> I think these are rather old. I'll think about it. They actually probably might have holes in them because they are wool, but they're cute. Here are, ooh, stuck on something. New tag and Taylor factory trousers. Signature straight, size two, originally 90. Let's see what they look like. Are they pleated? You cannot see because they're black, no. They're very basic. I will send these to a buy sell trade because they are Ann Taylor factory and I already don't do well with Ann Taylor and a small size. We'll see if buy sell trade wants those. This is cute, Adidas. Pretty purple color. Is it a collab? That'd be great. No, it doesn't look like it. Some of their collabs um, can get you a lot. I think there's the Farm Rio collab and then there's also a collab they did with Pharrell Williams. Is that his name? The guy with the hat. <laughs> but this is cute. I like this graphic. And then it has Adidas down there. I love this color. If I don't sell this, Playlist Closet would totally take it. It's a US size small, oversized. I will sell that. Good color for the summer. I don't sell a lot of Adidas, but if it's cute, I usually pick it up at the bins. New tag H&M Henley top. I will see if Plato's Closet wants that. It is new tags, which is nice. Maybe they will want it. Here is a new tag Zara shirt. This feels weird. Uh, originally $9.90. I might take this price off and send it into Plato's Closet because it feels so weird. It says Zara Basic. Um, it says it's from fall, winter 2018. So I'm gonna take this price tag off. I know if I don't do it now, I'm not gonna remember to do it. And I'm gonna bring that to Plato's Closet because I don't like the way it feels. <laughs> feels really cheap. And I mean, it was $9.90. These are cute. These are Banana Republic short. Again, not new with tags. Size zero, so very small. But they have this fun elephant print on them. And the elephant has like a little like a blanket on it. Don't know if there's a specific name for that. These are so cute. I love novelty prints. These are from 2014, so they are older, but I will list those probably. So far there's three jackets, but I'm not sure if any of them are as good as the other jackets I've been getting. I do not know what's up with this. This has like lint stuck to it. Do you see that? It's like 
stuck to it. That's icky. Oh, it's <laughs> new with tags. I don't know why all this lint is stuck to it. It looks like it was on the floor of their warehouse. But it's a really nice satin <laughs> balloon sleeve top. Is this the front or the back? I think this is the front. And it ties in the back. Um, Leith, which I haven't had the best of luck with. I want to say it's sold at Nordstrom. It's a size extra small, but I do really like this style. And if I can, you know, clean that up, I'll put it over there. <laughs> I'll probably list it because I like the way it looks. Here is a dress. Forever 21 dress, size small. I was actually expecting to get a lot more Forever 21 and H&M pieces in this box because they don't sell those brands and I'm sure people send to them all the time. Originally $27.99, but this is an adorable maxi dress. Very trendy with that front drapey bit. Again, I'll probably take the price off, but I'll probably sell this to myself. It has like an asymmetric hem. It doesn't feel great, but I mean, it's Forever 21. People know it's cheap. I love that print. I'm gonna sell that. <laughs> If I can find a model photo, that would be even better. This is a Nike dry fit, cute, like pink sweatshirt. I like this a lot, very basic, but something I'd probably pick up at the bins. Size small, reflective panel in the back. Nike also dates their stuff. 2019, not too bad. I've never heard of this brand. This brand's called a takeout. This seems very Y2K, but not very cute, I'd say. It is metallic and has like that bow detail in the front, but then it's like that at the bottom. I'm probably just gonna donate this. I don't see any other tags. Oh, yes I do. Acrylic, cotton. Yeah, I'm gonna donate that. <laughs> Wish it was cuter, but it's not. This is another new tag Zara piece that also looked like it was on the dusty, dusty floor of something. Size medium, originally $19.90, but those price stickers are kind of easy to take off. It's cute. It has a little tie front, like bow on the neck, emerald green, very fall winter. I'll probably list that myself. This is a dress from Pink Owl Apparel. Seems pretty cheap. It is a size large. Fortunate that all the good sizes are in not great items. Um, it's not embroidered, but it's like has this kind of like risen feeling. I'll look it up, but I really don't think it's worth anything. I don't know that Plato's Classic would want this, but I guess it wouldn't hurt to take to them. Here is a skirt, six petite loft and Taylor loft. Cute skirt. I like the pattern on it and it's metallic, but it is a petite and it's loft. It's gonna go to buy, sell, trade and I doubt they'll take it because it's definitely a fall winter piece, but I'm not gonna hold on to it. New tag, Gap Extra Small, um, originally $39.99. Seeing if I can find a material tag without having to go down here. 100% cotton. Pale pink, weird collared sweater that's gonna go to Buy Soul Trade. It's just so simple for Gap that I just don't wanna list it. This is Mar Marika, Marika, M A R I K A. I see this brand a lot, but I never pick it up. Workout top with this back bent. I have no idea where they sell this, or I'm don't think it's expensive. It's a size small, but it is new with tags, so I will look it up. But that might end up going to Plato's Closet. I think they like to get athleisure stuff, but again, I haven't brought anything to them, so we'll see. This is an Under Armour tank top. I like the color. I don't do well selling Under Armour. It's a size small, so if you hear my cat crying, probably doesn't like that I'm in here without her. V-neck. I will see if Plato's Closet wants that because I don't like it. <laughs> Here is a top from Max Studio, which I have sold before. Originally 78. They sell this at like TJ Maxx, Marshalls. 
It is a cute top. I like this like picnic-y style side tie. I own a sweater by them, so they do make cute stuff. It's cotton, not linen, but I think it'd be cute for the summer, so I'll probably list it. Here is another green piece, green and white. Pretty color, size extra small from Target Universal Thread. Originally $8. I'm going to take this price off and I'm put it in my Plato's Closet pile. Maybe they want it. This is another new tags piece. What is this? Gibson look. I've not heard of it. Seems like it might be another boutique brand. It is a size large. Um, not the cutest. <laughs> is this is a v-neck. V-necky crochet -y <laughs> dress. It is lined, which is nice. See if there's an inner tag. Yes, 100% rayon. Made in Guatemala. I'll look it up, but if it isn't anything, I will bring that to Bicel Trade. This is Pants by Be Cool. <laughs> Size small. Seems like something sold at TJ Maxx. I've never heard of it. Originally 38 on sale for $25.99. This seems like a boutique, like a Plato's Closet tag or something. Um, paper bag pants that are very sheer. I'll look them up, but if not, I will send them into Plato's Closet and see if they want them. Not sure because they are kind of cropped. This is a cute top, but I don't know if I'll sell it. It's Banana Republic Factory Extra Small Petite. So factory and petite and extra small, not great. I love the color. Again, very Barbie pink, but I'll see if Buy Sell Trade wants that. Hopefully they will because it's new with tags. <laughs> Here is an Old Navy large petite. It's full of petites. Black stretchy top. Very soft. This would be super nice to sleep in. I will take this to buy sell trade. If they don't want it, I will keep it and I will sleep in it. This is fun. <laughs> Wild Honey, which is a cheaper brand. Again, I think it's like in the junior section at TJ Maxx. It's very stretchy, but I think that's fun. <laughs> very like Cadet Kelly, which was a Disney Channel movie. Reminds me of mini skirt, blue camo, like faux denim. I'll sell that. I love skirts. We're coming to the end of this box. I'm trying to pull out everything that's not a jacket. Banana Republic factory size eight. Skirt. This is cute. I like that, like, print. Is it linen? It is mostly linen. It's not lined. It seems like it would easily like flap up. I'll consider it. It's probably older. I just looked at the tag and I didn't look at a date. Yeah, it's from 2011, but it's kind of cute and it's linen. So we'll think about it. This is a what, maxi skirt, 100% linen, vintage Talbots, size four, black midi skirt. Maybe maxi. It would hit my, my ankle. I might sell that because maxi skirts are in. It is vintage. Probably like 90s. <laughs> that really old dry cleaner tag on it. Probably sell that actually. So it is a plain skirt, but it's nice to have, you know, a plain black skirt, I'm sure. A New Day, which is Target, extra small, new with tags. Originally $8. Probably the same person. This is also... Going to Plato's Closet. Another sweatshirt. This one's Under Armour. This looks like it could be men's. It says loose, which makes me think it's not men's. Is there no size on this? This actually kind of looks like a woman's piece. Under Armour, loose fit, which I've sold before. This is nice. I like the quarter zip. It says it's from 2015. Oh, so it is a little bit older. Or 2016, I guess. But it's still in really good condition. So I might sell that. Maybe Plato's Closet, we'll see. I think the rest of the stuff besides this piece are jackets, so. Antonio Milani, Antonio Milani. Is that designer? Antonio Milani. This feels like 100% leather. Milani sounds designer. 
cute leather. Oh my god, look how cute. This is like preppy punk. It does say China, medium China, so maybe not designer. Oh, please have a material tag. Okay. I was like, even if it's fake leather, please just let me know. It is genuine leather. Made in China. Well, regardless of whether it's designer or not, I will sell it. Because it is a cute, genuine leather. Futuristic, preppy, punk skirt. There are some spots on this, but just going to take a white, a white, a very lightly damp paper towel and then gently um, get rid of that. And I think that will do the trick. All right. And then it looks like I have four jackets and then I'm done. This is Ashley by 26 International Outerwear. Doesn't feel super high quality, but it looks cute, which is fine by me. I sell stuff based on style a lot. Oh, the zipper pulls missing, but and it's a very cheap zipper. It's probably not helping that I'm zipping it upside down, but someone could always just put like a little piece of cloth on that. I love that it's corduroy. It's like a cropped bomber jacket. I think that's really cute and I will sell it. Let me show you that. Again, something that looks like it was sold at TJ Maxx, which it probably was, but that is fine. Here is like a longer puffer jacket. Oh, that's fun. In like a silver metallic. Wow, that looks like that. Those jackets that people at the Rihanna, the Rihanna dancers at the Super Bowl were wearing, but in silver, gray, not white. Okay, so this is BCBG Max Aria. I'm surprised they didn't sell this themselves. I mean, they might have and it might not have sold or there might be a problem with it. But I used to send this brand in to thread up all the time and I'd get so much money for it. Um, but I don't send stuff to them anymore since they changed their stuff. Size medium and this actually might be real down filled. I love the one thing about their brand that I do love is that they have all these tags. They usually have a style name and everything. So it makes it really easy to look up. Okay. I don't think it's real down. I think it's just nylon polyester filled, but it is really cute. And I'm definitely going to sell this. I love the futuristic like style of it. And at least from outer glance, it seems in good condition and it comes with the belt. Maybe the belt, you know, the belt has a lot of wear to it, but you don't have to wear the belt. All right, two more jackets. And these actually seem really cute. So hopefully there's something good. Never heard of this brand before, but this is fun. I like the like kind of army style, floral, the slight embroidery. It's the brand Oil, Oi Lily, O-I-L-I-L-Y, made in India. I can read it easier on that one probably if it's focusing. Woman's wear. I don't know if it says size 38 or what. It does have the brand on the buttons and also down here. So that can mean, that would be something that would indicate that it might be a better brand and I would look it up if I saw it at the bins. No other tag. 100% cotton. It does seem to be like a bigger size, maybe like an extra large, large, extra large, maybe bigger. That's cute. I like that. Fingers crossed that it's something good. And then I don't know what this is, but I absolutely love it and it's my favorite thing. <laughs> It could be worth absolutely nothing, but I think it might be designer. John Bartlett. That sounds really familiar. It's made in Italy, or it says it's made in Italy, size 42, which is Italian. I hope all the buttons are there, but look at all these buttons. And then you loop it through all these. I'm not going to sit here and do that. I think this is genuine leather. It's cropped and it's camo. Anything in the pockets? No. Let's see what the tag says. It is 100% leather. Woohoo. I'm so happy. And I love it. I don't know if it's worth anything, but I love it. I hope all the buttons are there. There is some like parts where 
you could see the leather's kind of like lighter, like worn spots, but I think that just gives it a cooler look. That looks like it's like this worn in camo. I have a good feeling about this jacket. And it looks like all the buttons are there and it smells good and it's so stinking adorable. Okay. So I wasn't actually able to find out too much about this brand or really any comps or anything very similar to this piece. So I did list high. It seems like John Bartlett um, did a lot of runway shows, it seems like in the 90s and early 2000s. And otherwise, he's been the creative director for different brands. So I kind of dated this as possibly an early 2000s piece, which is great because that's really trendy right now. Um, and yeah, I just kind of listed it hoping for the best and it has gotten a bit of attention and I'll be really excited to see if it sells. Well, this is a great way to end this box, the last of the boxes. Now, what you may be thinking is probably what I'm thinking right now. I want more. <laughs> but I'm not gonna buy any more, um, at least not for a while. I'll be excited to get them again sometime. Um, this was my first time getting a 200 pounds and I feel like it was definitely worth it. Again, my boxes are great, but I've seen so many and have received so many meh and really bad ones. So definitely think twice before spending $400 on these. Again, I needed inventory. I wanted kind of like supplemental inventory for in between my bins trips. And I just think I got really lucky and I am so thankful and I'm so happy. And I hope you guys have enjoyed watching these unboxings. Let me know what your favorite piece was from this box. Mine is this leather jacket. Hopefully if I found out more information about this piece, I'll put it up on the screen. Some of you are probably screaming at me that this is like a great brand or not. Um, but yeah. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video and these videos. I'll try and do a recap video about, you know, how many pieces I got all together, like what I've sold so far, how much money I've made back. If I bring stuff to buy, sell, trade, how much money I made from that. So keep an eye out for that. And yeah, I hope you guys have a great time sourcing and selling this week. And I'll see you guys all in my next video. Bye.